Notice. Now that's been 2,700 years ago. Notice they were scattered. They were blinded. And now they've been gathered. Now the next thing is that they are to receive life. And the Gentiles are called out. The bride's ready. The rapture is at hand. Can we realize that? Can we actually believe that? Is it a story that's been told? Is it a myth to us? Is it a something that sounds real? Is it something that we outside can believe? Or is it something that's in us? That's part of us. But it's more than life to us. What attitude do we sit in this morning in this tabernacle? Remember, it'll be a small flock that receives it. Now in the homeland, waiting for the trumpets. Now, waiting for the going of the bride so that Revelations 11 can be fulfilled. The church age has ceased. The seals have been opened that prove what they left out in the church age. And the message has been given. Israel is on the scene. Hallelujah. Ready. Where are the beasts of trumpets? Oh, you men in other lands, where you hear this tape, can't you wake up, my brother? Or does it blind you? Would you throw it out and call it false prophecy when it's vindicated right before you by the world? By the time, by the peoples, and by the Holy Spirit who wrote it. It's vindicated both naturally, spiritually, materially. Everything that he said is fulfilled and proven. Amen. Israel in her land drove them in there, herded them in there like sheep. The wolves got after her and run back to safety to their own land. Remember, Israel was only promised to be blessed as long as she was in her land. God never blesses Israel outside of the land. Abraham went outside the land was condemned. Everyone that leaves the land is condemned. God only can bless Israel when she stays in her homeland. And she's there now as a nation. And the church is called. She's just only waiting for the rapture of the bride taken out. The seals are open. It's revealed to us. We see what they left off. You don't want to debate and fuss about the serpent seed and water baptism and so forth. You're blinded and don't know it. The God of this world has blinded you to it. And you don't know it. wonder I had such a time this morning fighting through them pressures so their prophets can be revealed in this last day. Can't do it. Through the trumpet of the feast of the trumpets. He said through Hosea, I have hewed. Now watch, Israel he's talking to. I have hewed. Or in other words, I have chopped, chopped them out through the prophets. That's how God does his people. He chopped them out from the rest of the nations. Amen. What by? His two-edged sword Amen. is where he chopped them. Amen. His nation from the nations. He chopped his nation from the nations by the prophets. His vindicated word. So as he chopped his bride from the denominations Amen. by his word. <laughs> Promised by Malachi 4 in the last day. Chopped out his bride. Uter. From the rest of the churches. Hewed out his bride. Chopped out his prophets. Who with his prophets with the word chopping Israel. Separate yourself from the rest of them. Look at when they want to act like the rest of them. They came to the prophet Samuel. He said, have I ever took your money? Have I ever spoke to you anything in the name of the Lord? But what happened? They said, no, that's, that's right. But we still want a king. That's the way the churches is dead. Oh, we believe the word. It's all right. But, you know, that we say we should do this. I don't care what they say. The word is right. Amen. Waiting. He's chopped them out. 
through the prophets. What time is it, brethren? What time is it, minister? Do you see the time of the day and the sign you're living under? Can you understand it? Do you see it? Everywhere now, there's no revival. Everybody's complaining. Ministers crying. I was reading one of the outstanding papers that comes here to the church, a very fine paper. And I know the editor and I know the people. They're godly people. Very fine. Brother and Sister Moore of the Herald of His Coming. One of the finest papers on the field. Herald of His Coming. But they hardly will print anything unless it's about fast, pray, fast, pray, sound a trumpet. Get How many reads it? You know, you see it all the time. Fast, pray, fast, pray. It's all you hear. Fast, pray. We're going to have a great breaking of the day. There's a great thing going to happen. All of you pray, pray, pray. We're not too late yet. Why do they do that? Why do they do that? They want a great awakening. They're crying, believing that they will be awakened. They're good people. Why is it? What have they done? They have not recognized the awakening of the bride. See? By being a Christian, they feel the pull of the hour, but they haven't recognized what's been done. That's what's making them feel that way. They know something's supposed to happen. But see, they're looking for it way off in the future to come when it's already happened right by you. That's the same thing they did in the old days. They believed in a coming Messiah. They believed that there'd be a forerunner come. But it was right on them and they didn't know it. They didn't recognize it. They believed there would come a forerunner. They would forerun the Messiah. And they cut his head off. And kill their Messiah. Because it was prophesied that they'd be blinded.